the video that I've really been meaning to make this one because people really, really ask me about how I do my head wraps. And today I'm wearing my hair up in a little doodaddy thing, but I usually, I just don't feel like taking it out and fooling with it. But I usually put it like kind of in a French twist or however you want to secure the back. Well, let's just even see if this will work. Head wraps are amazing, um, especially for um, women that are experiencing hair loss. Some of my clients are in the back. And um, just, I don't know, if you're having a bad hair day, just throw a wrap on. I usually use this one and I actually, it's just very light. And I actually, no, I didn't cut it. I thought I did. Um, this one works, but I actually have one that I'm going to try, see if it's even better. But I start just tying it up, get a good knot. And it is like some days I can do it and some days I can absolutely not do it. So then I tuck this. Right back there, and I took this one. I'll get it straight. And I already have my little tendrils hanging down, which I like. And then this is crepe, which is like, I don't know if you can hear that. It's not soft, but it grips. So, and this one is not silk either because those slip off. I never really wear silk scarves in my hair. Um, this one I take for some more kind of interest and what is it? kind of, I don't know what I do. I twist it, twist it. And this is an idea from my sweet dear friend, Leslie Nix, who, I mean, I've been wearing head scarves for a long time, but I wasn't bringing it. It was, I needed this. I needed this kind of extra to bring it in. So you could wear it like this, which is very fancy. Gives the illusion of long hair, ponytail. Or what I do a lot is I just tie it into a bow like that, which looks equally. God, this turned out cool. Good. Um, and then if I'm feeling extra fancy, um, I, I don't know if this is a good one. This is a little heavy, but my other one was on a hat and I couldn't take it off. But I like to put a brooch there, which is amazing. You know, just more detail. And I mean, I feel like 40s movie star when I'm wearing my hair like this. Some earrings and a brooch, or if that's too heavy, I love to put flowers in my hair. I love it. Just a little bougainvillea. My glasses, I can't see a thing without them. You know, doot doot. Just like a little flower in your hair. Probably ruin it when I put my glasses on. Yep. <laughs> you get the idea. Just, you know, we're goddesses. My goodness, let's adorn ourselves, right? My motto is. If it's not fancy, fuck off. Oops, that's my F word. That does come out of my mouth a lot, but the motto is oriented towards self-expression. It means, fuck it, if it's not fancy. You know, like, have fun with your self-expression, whatever that means for you. If it means how beautifully you make a salad, make it beautiful and present it, you know, gardening or flower arrangement, um, adorning ourselves, making art. It's, it's just about making an effort to create whatever beauty means to you. Just simply putting a flower in your hair. It's like, that's my motto. If it's not fancy, fuck off. So on that note, uh, yep, I did it. 
my god, I did five videos today. So weird that I feel so comfortable doing this. So um, I shall do more. So yeah, get your head wrap on. I hope that was informative or like if it, I hope that was helpful. If you're experiencing hair loss in the front, like some of my clients, they have like some longer hair in the back and they braid it off to the side. I, I suggest that they braid it off to the side and then you can pull, it doesn't look very good on me, but you can pull the, you know, obviously this scarf down to hide anything you want to hide. So yeah, head scarves. There you go. Ta-da. All right. Ciao.